It's DPS season and this year our pool of hopefuls has extended across the country with Southern and Copper Belt provinces joining in on the action. Last week, our top 20 received their first task and four of them were eliminated. Ndelemu, however, did not take her elimination so well. So you cut me short when I was talking. What I was trying to say was I purposely ignored you because I didn't want to talk to you. And I wanted you to know that me, I'm even lucky I'm based in Lusaka. These guys can still call me. I told them about how you and your people have been behaving in the group, how you left me off the script, how you didn't add me to the group. So what I want to tell you is, my dear, you will get eliminated. And when you get eliminated, you go back to wherever village it is you came from because you're not from Lusaka. Me, they are going to call me. I told them what has happened. They heard me out and they all can agree that you guys will not meet there. Whether I'm put back into the competition, and now I pray to the Lord they don't put me back. Because when I come back, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for Rachel. I'm coming for all of you. And guess where you're going? Back to the village you came from. Have a good day, my love. I'm afraid I may have understated the whole thing. Is anyone safe? <laughs> No, what I mean is I'm not going to be sent back because I'm already in Osaka. You are going to Recently, Zambia has had its fair share of successes. The never-ending list of Patson Daka, Sampa the Great, Jonah, Zambia securing a debt restructuring deal, Diamond TV expanding to four other countries and growing, and don't even get me started on Barbara and Rachel. Greatness truly is in the air, and we celebrate every Zambian making tremendous strides to put this beautiful country on the map. I think it's now time to give this opportunity to the contestants. Well, I've noticed that my trend is to always rise from the ashes. Maybe it's a coincidence that I'm in a team named Phoenix. Uh, I've been through so much, so much ups and downs, and every single time I persevered, I fought. So this is not a place, I believe, where learning is the priority thing. It's not a school, basically, and we're reminded of that. But I'm going to choose to take every moment as a learning experience and add it to who I am. So I go back to the drawing board, look at my flaws, reinvent myself, and come back better. I mean, that's what it means to be a diamond. Shaped, molded, carved, and who you are what you're supposed to be. The contestants are split in two teams. Each team has to curate content that is meant to market Zambia to the world. Primarily the four countries Diamond TV is broadcasting in. Malawi, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and Namibia. I, you know, um, the work was done. We put in the work. But to say we're really, really confident, um, I would say yes and no, because 
sometimes you know that the work that you're putting is actually good but you just never know what the judges are looking for so on one hand, I would say that we did our very, very best. We worked together as a team and we put something that we think we can present. To say that I'm confident, I would say 50%. I'll say 50%. Contestants will be judged on how meticulous and creative their marketing strategies are. Best of luck. Zambia Kialo! time for Zambia's hidden gems to be brought to life. And for the past couple of days, the contestants have been attempting just that. The work has been done, but is it good enough? It's now time for the presentation. Taona, Emmanuel, welcome to the presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Taona, it's the second time that you're here and I find it interesting that you are brave enough to come back here because the last time you were here, it got you in a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell us about that. Um, I'm here because Emmanuel is our team lead and uh, when he was volunteering to be team lead, he asked for a call or advice and nobody else was willing to, so I just took it up. So, and also I had taken part in witnessing the production for most of the segments. Well, why do you think nobody wanted to be the core team lead? I think most of them were scared of coming here. <laughs> mm. Most of them were scared of coming here, that's what I think. What about your experience from the last time you were here? You've received phone calls and voice notes and a lot of drama in between. Tell us about that. Okay, so um, according, because last time I was in Team Hakuna Matata and Ntelamo from Hakuna Matata got eliminated. So I feel like she didn't handle that well. In my opinion, I think it's just her way of breathing. So um, we received voice notes, messages, and she called me once, of which I recorded the phone call, and she was just saying a lot of things. She told me on how today I'm going to get eliminated and I'll have to go back to my village where I come <laughs> from. Which village is that? I'm from Kitwe. I'm not sure if it's a village. Deke village, maybe. No, I'm from Kana East. Uh, Hmm. Okay. It's your first time here, Emmanuel. My first time and I'm pumped actually. I'm excited to be here. Tell us what you, you have for us. Well, what we have is a magazine show. A magazine show that is going to market Zambia to particularly four different countries. The reach that Diamond TV has. That is the vision that we had. And we decided to do it in our own unique modern way. Uh, a way that would target people aged 18 to 35. So the segments that we highlight will be uh, segments we believe that people in our demographic, in our peer range, are attracted to, and things that would be able to um, encourage people to <coughs> migrate here and invest in the things that are happening in our country, as well as be the mouthpiece uh, to proclaim the wonders and greatness that we have as Zambians to the people that they meet out there when they go back. So in the mix of the teams, I believe each team has got eight contestants. Yes. Last week, again, like Jonah was finding out, Taona, Rachel, you were accused of leaving out certain people in the group chats or in the group. Team lead, run me through the process of this team composition is everybody participating? Is everybody in the loop of communication? We don't want backlash that certain people were being left out. Left out. Well, um, as Team Phoenix, uh, one of the themes that we had was we adapt. And we adapted to the change that happened. That was the addition of uh, two contestants that came from the other team. And I would say we immediately established a bond and I think that bond uh, helped us put these things together and was able to keep us as inclusive as possible during the time constraints with all the happenings. Will we be able to see all of them or all the eight contestants in this piece? 
you would definitely be able to see all the contestants in film. Let's watch. Welcome to the Z Magazine, the show where we talk about our motherland, Zambia, the beautiful nature, our warming hospitality, and our rich culture. From the bustling streets of Lusaka to the tranquility of South Luangwa National Park, Zambia has it all. I am your host, Wukata Havasonda. And I am Mike Sakala. And just as Wukata has mentioned, mm. this is a show that brings you the most interesting and fascinating stories around what a masterpiece of a country Zambia is, from a very rich historical gallantry to the rhythmical heartbeats of its local inhabitants, the mouth-watering cuisines, and a very fast-growing technological space. This is a show that you want to sit and watch. Heritage Happenings. Welcome to this segment of the show. I'm Ruva Rache, and today, we're at a place that holds testimonies of the country's past. So if you're ready to have a taste of Zambia, let's have a look. Our first exhibit is going to be Broken Human. He was discovered in 1921 on June 17th by Tom Zwigler. During an open cast mine for lead and zinc, Tom discovered this Homo rhodesiensis. It is believed he lived between 700,000 to 300,000 years ago. Do you love dancing? If yes, then welcome to Zambia. Ever heard of the Chimwemwe dance? Oh wait, have you tried the Kopala dance? The power of Zambian dance to captivate and inspire is unparalleled. The language of Zambian dance provides a way of communicating, giving a sense of unity without the use of words. Welcome to Rhythm Rush. I'm your host, Susan Banda. And of course, I'm Milimo Sianyunta. This is the Rhythm Rush, where tradition meets innovation, mm -hmm. where we get to showcase our creativity, resilience in the power of dance. So join me today with Susan as we showcase to you various dances that are done in a modern way by modern youth. Of course, this is our talent. This is Zambia. <laughs> Hello, Mulibwanji. Welcome to the recipe room, the Zambian style. I'm your host, Taona, and I am so excited to take you on a culinary adventure through the Zambian streets. Now, today, we are going to be trying out Zambia's famous street food, Imichopo. Come with me. Right about now, I am joined by two men who are experts in the making of Imichopo. Boss, Mulibwanji. Tilibuino. So, Muma Panga Bwanji, Michopo. Michopo, Miss Mendera, Mama Kulam Kat in the Yum Puto. Ah, then Mama Kulam Kat, Mama Pera Panza Pano. Hm. Wamboka Mush Mosho Kid and Yuya. Hm. I'm by the juicy. Hm. If you get it juicy, my spice and my food is off on some of the food. So, I'm not to come by little juicy, Mapa Kamocha, and you think I'll juice. Okay, so what I would like to know, boss, is that do you get what kind of customers do you attract? Uh, here we do attract uh, different customers. Uh -huh. Some they even come from far places, uh -huh. some are even foreigners. Okay, they are Nigerians that come, foreigners from Tanzania. Oh, we even France. have customers from Nigeria, Tanzania. Yeah, they oh, that's amazing. Fun. Siomboka, a traditional dance done by the Lozi people from the western part of Zambia. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this segment of Customs and Celebrations. I am your host, Akim Kabi, and this is a show that brings to you nothing but the best of Zambian culture. As you can see, I am in a Lozi outfit, an outfit called Sibize. This outfit is worn by Lozi men during the Komboka ceremony as they move and paddle the King Lutunga from the flat plains to the upper plains of his palace in the Nali Kwanda boat. Zambia. A country filled with different people in different provinces with different traditional ceremonies. In the west, north, south, and east, we're easily spotted. Welcome to Zambia Augmented, where we focus on emerging technologies that are shaping our future. 
Today, we focus on AR, or augmented realities. This is a technology that incorporates digital elements using devices like cell phones and incorporating it into the real world, making it intuitive and interactive. Want to know how? Let's find out. First up, let's take a look at this groundbreaking augmented reality software technology. And what better way to do that than with navigation? Computer, I need you to guide me to Diamond TV from the gym that I'm at right now. Certainly, Mr. Emmanuel overlaying map of route. Augmented guiding systems engaged. You may begin your journey. Just, just pause there. Uh, Emmanuel, uh, you're showcasing augmented reality. Is this a Zambian invention? Is it only unique to Zambia? No, it is not unique to Zambia, but my vision was to show that uh, Zambia is the hub of its usage and that if people from these countries that we reach would like to, pi uh, to, put f how can I put it? to push forward their ideas when it comes to technology, they could come to Zambia and still do it because we are able to, uh, we have the technology, we have the knowledge, we have the skill, the people, the experts to help push that technology forward. But it's not real. It's not real. The whole augmented reality you are saying is not real because you acted it out. Um, that is indeed true. That part was supposed to be a simulation. Yeah. Trust Emmanuel to try to convince the judges on this presentation. But all hopes seem lost as the judges are not convinced. They proceed to watch the rest of the show and give the following feedback. First of all, um, I was expecting this to be a bit more creative and because it's a lifestyle magazine I was expecting that it doesn't take the format of what we saw in the first task mm. because everything I'm seeing is taking the format of even though this was out of studio but I'm still seeing the same format of two co-hosts crossing to a segment and everybody I'm your host with this segment I'm your host with this segment for such a show actually it needed to have a lot of storytelling and profiling of Zambia you miss an opportunity because what Zambia Kuchalo means is selling, marketing Zambia to the world. You chose culture, dance, um, and a bit of lifestyle. I would have loved so much to look at, uh, for you, Emmanuel. Yes, sir. Uh, your, your piece, sorry to tell you, is very off in okay. this. Very, very off as a Zambia Kuchalo piece. If it was twisted into an investment, probably aspect or, or, or something in line with that, it, it could have worked. It, it even just threw me off, like, how is it Zambia Kuchalo if we're using augmented reality to, to showcase the, the swapping of the clothing? I know it's something you can do with tech, but what does that say? You can only do that in Zambia? I think you need to understand what we're trying to, 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 to achieve here. Yeah, I mean, I also think that um, the, I don't know, um, I think there's a weakness with regards the strength of the creativity or, um, and the development of the ideas. It's almost, I, I get that this is a competition, but it's almost like um, you people only realize that it's one show when you've filmed and you have to start editing. But you really need to spend a lot of time in developing the concept of an idea so that it is solid enough to be to make sense when you and when you and watch seamless it. Mm, and and for it to be seamless mm -hmm. uh, and the team really struggled uh, with developing this concept and i can tell first of all you couldn't even feel the 24 minutes uh, that you were allocated which just signifies the struggling team and um, i i think that eight people should not fail to to feel 24 minutes and I always ask if uh, you do 21 minutes w w where are you taking the other four minutes I think that there was some decent presentation on town as bit and uh, the two guys that we're introducing but like guys we need some energy we need some life we are marketing mm. you know it needs to be interesting to watch and I think that today research shouldn't be a problem because information is just everywhere like information is everywhere for you to to develop a solid product the judges do not seem to know how they feel about the show 
Obviously, the team unlocked a new power, staying safe. But will that be of any help during elimination? We'll have to find out. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Oh man, I simply love the Lion King. Anyways, Matakala and Newton's team are calling themselves Hakuna Matata. We can only wait and see if it means no worries in this presentation. So to begin with, we moved away from the conventional marketing of Zambia where you <coughs> just showcase the tourism sector. I think what we picked on is to sell Zambia as an investment destination, which uh, is one of the main things that we tried to highlight in our show today. Um, and also, we tried to incorporate um, you know, social media yeah. in this day and age by fixing in what we are calling the pass the phone on to someone challenge. So um, we also showcase, of course, uh, fashion. We showcase dance and we showcase uh, food as well. Food as well, yeah. yeah. Cuisines. Creativity is one thing that we're looking for. What do you promise us, creativity-wise? Uh, you are in for a shock. Wow. <laughs> Confidently. I'll so. fall off my chair. Uh, I'll hold you if you do. <laughs> <laughs> Either by being impressed or being disappointed. Yeah, we're here uh, with being impressed. I think one of the two is either. Is a shock. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Definitely being impressed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. John. Well, um, I guess we we can we can be shocked. Go. Yeah. Let's, let's get, get shocked. We will live on the track. Hello, Dumelang. Ohandi Mukundu Amose, Mulibwanji Achimwene, Makadi, welcome to Zambia Kuchalo, a show that will shine a light on the many amazing things that you could do while here in Zambia. From the warmth of the Zambian people to the amazing, delicious Zambian cuisine, we take you on a journey to explore the best of Zambian music and fashion. And we will also highlight why Zambia is your investment destination of choice. Today on the show, we begin with Lehman, who takes us on a journey to test Zambia's best dishes. Of course, you can't make this guy hate info. Watch this. Ah, Bosano, Bosano. Eh, Mumu, you fang a fang a fang a fang. Ah, tell you what, so. Say, and I'm missing that somewhere in it. 150, the whole lot of it. So, I'm going to say, but you're going to be able to get a half of it. Fish. This is 150 kwachi. And it's really nice, like the scent. Oh, you can't feel it because you're watching. Yeah. You thought you knew where it was going, but something about it just wasn't very straight. This is really nice. And this really defines what we say we've got a boastful flavor of food in Zambia. Please. Come and enjoy with us. Find some time and have some good meat like this and some good fish like that. There's also goat meat there besides. The Zambian fashion story can never be complete without the Chitenge material. The fashion industry is less around the Chitenge fabric. Nkanda Yatu is a fashion house that has established itself into a powerhouse as well as a global brand. Talk about Zambia Kuchalo. Kanda Yatu has been flying Zambia's flag really high that recently in 2022 they took with them their brand to the Milan Fashion Week as well as the Paris Fashion Week showcasing a mixture of Zambian leather as well as the Chitenge fabric. I am Penelope Jindolo and on today's fashion show I'll be sitting down with Moses Walia, the assistant fashion designer at Nkanda Yatu. Keep watching. So blessings. You just need to feel it. Hey. You seem to know this very well. How long have you been in this country? Since two and a half months now. Two and a half months. And where are you from? I am originally from Austria but raised in Germany. Okay, and uh, I've heard a lot of people talk about Zambia, best known to be peaceful, you know, 
beautiful landscape would you would you very much agree to say we the people here are very much welcoming of course i have been in a lot of countries and in a lot of african countries but zambia is my favorite one like it's beautiful the people are the most amazing people they are so friendly welcoming they are fun they know how to drink they know how to party <laughs> like zambia is amazing and it's safe i'm going to pass on the phone to mac who will show you what makes zambian music great Thank you Matakala Matakala, my name is Mark Mulenga Simukanga and this is the Zambia Music News Report. So a little birdie told me that we have new viewers on our radar and these viewers are asking us why they should listen to Zambia music. First of all, shout out to my people in Malawi, Botswana, Zimbabwe and Namibia. But what do you mean why should people listen to Zambia music? Are you kidding me? First of all, don't you know that a Zambian song was a soundtrack to a Marvel movie? And speaking of the bridge, look at this fine art piece. God was in his bag, you feel me? Manje is gonna be the bridge between me and marriage because I wasn't thinking about marriage before, but look at her. So apart from great music, Zambia has great looking women. But lastly on the feature is Tio Nason, who I think is Africa's Michael Jackson or the second coming of Michael Jackson, cause listen to this. She got the move, she got the move, she got the groove. So why do you mean you can't listen to Zambian music if the colonizers are listening to our music? Aren't the colonizers the ones that came with the Bible and you guys read the Bible and believed in the Bible? So listen to Zambian music because I am spitting the girl's spoil truth. Thank you so much, Mark. Hi, I'm Mimi and this is the art segment. If you have visited Zambia and never had a taste of its beautiful artworks, from the amazing paintings to the mesmerizing dance moves, then you, my friend, have not visited Zambia at all. Mungalami, come along with me as I take you on this journey. The journey into the world of art is not yet over. It's time to move your bodies. Let's go. I'm with a top-notch choreography crew right here exploring the world of dance. Let's do it! Welcome to Zambia Kuchalo. My name is Rachel Mumba. I am sure by now you have sampled some of the very best that Zambia has to offer. From our music, to our delicious cuisine, to the captivating fashion that we have in this country, and indeed, the warmth of the Zambian people. But what is a trip to Zambia without you carrying along something that will remind you that you were here once? Come with me as I take you some places where we can buy some souvenirs. Let's go. Manja Arts dressed me for this one. Now in Africa, Zambia has always stood out as a peace-loving nation endowed with vast natural resources and a favorable business climate. Nelton discusses this on our investment segment. Catch this. Imagine a nation where opportunity meets ambition, a land rich in natural resources, strategically located in the heart of Southern Africa and a home to a growing economy. This is Zambia, the ultimate investment destination of choice. My name is Newton Mutali Felile. Join me as we explore why Zambia is the gateway to unparalleled investment opportunities. I have been your host, Matakala Matakala. And for me, it's They're not falling. Nobody's falling <laughs> off any chair, it looks. <laughs> we, we tried. Uh, it's a, it, I think it was uh, pretty well put together. There's uh, some loose ends, uh, but I think that uh, I have to be considerate of the fact that it's a bunch of largely people trying to learn. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I say largely because there are some people in there who've got the experience. Uh, and I also th s still think, I, I think that uh, you guys had a bit of a leap in this production because I know that you're working with a very creative editor right. um, and, and I, I can see his hand in there yeah. uh, in some of the things that he was doing but I think that there were some missed opportunities um, the fashion for example mm -hmm. the fashion bit was a missed opportunity because the presenter did better than she did last time but the conversation that was being had with Ngandayatu was a bit ironic. I mean, you're talking about people coming into the country, but the entire conversation was about how they've left the country to go <laughs> elsewhere. Okay. Um, I think that you should have 
curated that better. There's a way to tell that story. And I think the way to tell that story is that they're so good that they're appreciated elsewhere. And so you yeah. have a decent uh, time even when you come here. But I've been to Kandayatu store. You were literally there. You should, you, you should have showed us uh, okay, yeah. what they're capable of. Yeah. And they've got a pretty nice office space. So you, I think that's what we should have been seeing. Nonetheless, guys, uh, well done. I think it's, it's a far yeah. much better job uh, than your first job. Far much better job um, than the other group. I just need to be honest because um, it's, it's a bit more creative. Let me start with you, Matakala. You hold presence as a presenter. I love the fact that this was a, a lifestyle show. The, the backdrop in the opening, the, the Long Acres Bridge, mm, yeah. again, uh, whether it was just uh, coincidental, it was intentional. Mm -hmm. But I mean, even if you're not saying it, it's showing that this is Zambia. This is Zambia. Proper bridge, proper backdrop. Um, the creativity in terms of from the bridge onto the poolside. Uh, I think you changed costumes about three yeah. times. You, you were on the Malimba. Great job. I think you kept on keeping the vibe alive. Uh, the presentation was good. Uh, I love that. Um, the language use as well during the opening, I love that because you're targeting these countries. So you, mm. you, you, you greeted the people in Malawi, you greeted the people in Botswana. So you, you, it shows you went ahead to research. You spoke some of Ambo? Uh, that one? Was, it was, uh, <laughs> we needed to sit down yeah. for a study for yeah, but, but I love that, that aspect that you went far and beyond to, sure. to, to think about that. Lehman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on Laxon. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, first of all, there's two things. Good storytelling, mm. animated storytelling, yeah. but uh, we need to figure out whether he's imitating Laxon or that's mm. him in his origination. Yeah. But he's always captivating. Mm. He's always captivating. I was very worried that um, we would have the same food showcase because the other group also went on to street food and so on. But he delivered it differently, at least there was goat meat. But before the street, I think there was Ifisa, she Kapenta, and yeah. all those things, the pronunciation. Um, great job there as well. Generally, I also think that it was a pretty decent uh, production. Thank you so much. Thank well you done. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it seems like a very good day for both teams, beating the system as it were. Well played, guys. Remember, two have to be eliminated today. After the break, the contestants will have to face Costa's wrath once again. Who can face the music? It's back here at the Kenneth Kaunda Mall for yet another rooftop elimination. For the next couple of minutes, the contestants will have to take a deep breath and hope that they survive this round. Contestants, welcome to week two of the elimination. This week's task was Zambia Kuchalo. The assignment to produce and create a 24-minute TV show that will showcase Zambia's potential to the four countries that Diamond TV is broadcasting to. These include Namibia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and Malawi. Contestants, you had to show creativity, but also promote Zambia for investment. This was an opportunity for you to have fun, but also be innovative. The two teams presented two different ideas. One, was looking at Zambia's opportunities through investment, but also promoting fashion, dance, as well as tourism in general. The other team took on information and technology, but you also looked at dance, tourism, and culinary. What we believed was an important and fun task. We think one of the teams did not do so well. But for the first time in this year's competition, we were quite satisfied with one team. And that team that did not do very well this week is Team Phoenix, led by you, Emmanuel. 
We found the aspect of your presentation very weak in terms of its sequencing. It stood out as if individuals were coming to do their own thing within a show. You failed to hit the 24 minute mark and your piece in particular of the augmented reality failed to really symbolize or signify that Zambia is indeed an investment destination. We are saying Zambia Kuchalo, meaning Zambia to the world. There was nothing unique and that idea, Emmanuel, I need to warn you, I know that you are very, very interested in anime and tech. Not a problem, but sometimes the complexity of these ideas may just miss the assignment. And for that reason, Team Hakuna Matata promised to shock us. Yes, Matakala, we were not shocked. We were just but impressed. A big round of applause for Team Hakuna Matata. I think you win this particular round. There were two things that came out similar, and I was worried. The food, one was the recipe segment, the other was culinary. But I think, again, Team Hakuna Matata with Lehman, you did a fantastic job. Your presentation was quite animated, but I need to just observe something, that you keep reminding us of one Lakson in Tani from ZNBC. Your presentation is good, but you need to bring out the original Lehman, and we want to see that going into the competition. And so, in this week's elimination, Team Hakuna Matata, just for the reason that you were able to put up such a good production, you are spared from elimination this week. That is not to say, that is not to say that there are no weak links in Team Hakuna Matata. Miriam, I see you very excited, but that excitement should be short-lived because your piece was absolutely a bit disappointing. You must be able to sit with the editor and agree on what needs to be removed and what needs to be included. So even if you shake your head, we are judging you on the basis of what we saw. You went to the art gallery at Henry Tayali and we failed to really understand and connect what you were presenting as Zambia Kuchalo in that piece. Rachel, your presentation was on point. However, the choice of the small business, the soap, that was a sheer waste of TV time. Penlop, we noted some remarkable improvement from last week in terms of you coming out more, but still, when you were at Nkandayatu, again, there was more that could be done in that interview. And you could have tried your very best in terms of taking advantage of the fact that here's a fashion designer who's been to Namibia Fashion Week, who's been to Botswana. How do we knit that into the assignment? But more is expected of you. Mark, you are coming back into the competition having worked for Diamond Media before. So you out of everybody have a spotlight on you. You are comfortable this week because you chose a segment that you know you are very good at. Entertainment and music is one thing you're very good at. So you were in a comfort zone and the real test for you will be for you to get to do an assignment in something that is not your comfort zone. However, we had an issue with your presentation. The use of the word colonizers. Why would you refer to every white person as a colonizer? We, we didn't think that was TV appropriate. And I think that has, to a degree, some amount of hate speech or racial segregation. It's like referring to every African or every black person as a slave. Surely I, would be, I wouldn't be comfortable to be referred to as that. But you, you, you kept on bringing out, why wouldn't you listen to Zambian music if the colonizers are listening to it? 
So we found that to be really odd and a bit off. At this point, everybody from Team Hakuna Matata step back and let me have everybody from Team Phoenix up front. Team Phoenix, your show was not impressive at all. And this is why you are up for elimination this week. Wukata and Mike, you were the co-hosts for this particular production. What we noted is that despite your individual presentations or performance being averagely good, we expect more, there was not so much chemistry that we were looking for. One of the things is, it's like you were competing for the camera. The camera will always pick you. The camera person will shoot or position the camera lens in an angle that will capture you perfectly. So you are free when you're on TV to interact with one another. But when you spoke, it's like you were individually just speaking in front of the camera and we didn't see the chemistry. Ruvarashe, I had a look at your profile. You are a public speaker, you say. Either there's some hidden potential or there's just something that is holding you back. Your presentation at the museum was quite some good content, but very flat in terms of its presentation. Why was that? During the shoot, I thought I was giving the right energy for my, for my segment. I thought I shouldn't put too much energy, considering that I was at the museum. I thought I should be more calm and less um, energetic. Is this the best version of you, Ruvarashe? No. I, I really can't feel you. And this is a competition of now 16 people remaining that want to get this. I get, I sense some holdback. I sense that you're not giving it your best. Is this the best version of you as no. a public speaker? No, it's not. So why are you coming out like this? Ruvarashe? You have no answer for me. I get... <sighs> Interesting. This is a presenter's competition. If a presenter cannot express themselves or tell me what it is that's a problem, then indeed we have serious issues there. Akeem, what outfit were you wearing in the presentation? It was called the Siziva. It was called? Siziva. And what did you say it was? Say it Siziva. No, you didn't. You said the Siziva. And that's the reason we're calling you out. Misinforming the audience. It's a very dangerous thing. So, team. Phoenix, up for elimination this week. Milimo, step up and change places with Susan. You're up for elimination. Ruvarashe, you're up for elimination. Nelton, change places with Tauna. You're equally up for elimination. Milimo, you still feel that this is radio? No, sir. Your presentation or performance was not impressive at all. Convince me why I shouldn't be sending you home today. If I'm to speak about myself, I feel like um, this is a path for me to self-discover myself. And uh, with the untapped potential that I have and the correction that I'm willing to accept, I feel like I would do Who better. Who tells you you have untapped potential? From the corrections that I can get in a team and uh, the motivation that I'm trying to put across 
I, I, I tend to accept correction and be taught what to do. And when somebody corrects me in that manner, it's, it becomes like a new thing that I have to try out because they're seeing something maybe that I haven't seen in myself. So being here is an opportunity of self-discovery. And uh, best believe is that moving from director from the last uh, team uh, assignment that we had and uh, coming to screenplay this time around, I feel that was me coming out from my comfort zone, which is radio. And if I'm to be given another opportunity, definitely I'll, I'll be a force not to be reckoned with. Ruvarashe, convince me why I shouldn't be sending you home. Or why I shouldn't be sending you back to your village. <laughs> That's the famous <laughs> sound note we received. Why should we be keeping you in the competition? Because I do want this and I am passionate about it. And I feel like I, di I did hold back. Um, but I'm willing, I want to put in my best, my level best and show my potential. And I, I, that's what I'm here for. I'm just here to prove that I'm meant to be here, that I'm, I'm, meant, I, I'm, meant, to I'm meant to win this. I, I know. Are you nervous, Ruvarashi? Yes, I am. Why? <laughs> I'm, I'm just feeling anxious, that's Let's all. Let's take a deep breath. Yes. Nelton. We have decided that this week we are giving you an opportunity to stay on the competition. But we expect more from you if you have to stay and compete. Ruvarashe, you have failed to convince me that you're the person that Diamond Media is looking for. For that reason, your journey ends now. All the best, but if TV, public speaking, and presenting is what you want, you need to step up, you need to break out of that shell, because I see a lot of holdback. This job sometimes involves speaking in front of thousands of people and you cannot be shaken by two very innocent and probably the two most nice guys in the world and you say you're intimidated and you're nervous you haven't convinced me that you're the person we're looking for and for that reason you're going home do you have anything to say Thank you so much. The person who follows River Russia this week, unfortunately for you, Milimo, your journey in DPS season five ends here. You have been on radio, but I feel that what we're looking for is definitely not what you have given us. Thank you for coming through and all the best. Your DPS journey ends here. Cue in the next task. Contestants, this coming week gets more real. We would like for the two teams to produce two different Diamond TV shows. One team will produce our talk show on the table and the other will produce our music show covers. Rachel, please swap places with Suzanne. Taona, please swap places with Nelton. Emmanuel, Rachel, Nelton, Miriam, Blessings, Wukata, and Mark. You are Team Phoenix. Taona, Mike, Akim, Suzanne, Matakala, 
Lehman and Penelope, you are Akuna Matata. Tim Phoenix, you must produce an episode of On the Table. Akuna Matata, you must produce an episode of Covers. We want 24 minutes for each show. All the best, and may the best team win. Here's what to expect on this season of the Diamond TV Presenter Service.